Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do an Aries Love Prediction reading for May 6th through May 12th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my impulsive Fun, kind, loving, fiery, Aries. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Aries? Show me, spirit guys. Let's see, Aries. What you got going on? The chariot. Four of swords. Nine of Pentacles. Uh oh. Ten of Wands. And the Five of Wands. Well, Aries, you told somebody goodbye. You broke up with them. It's like you said, I can be happy by myself. You got too many issues, man. Whomever this dude was, whoever this guy was, I just see you saying you, you got too many issues for me. I can do bad by myself. I, 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 I want to be happy. The chariot card leads your reading, which can represent a cancer sun sign. But the chariot card is moving forward. But you're not moving forward because I see the four swords right next to this chariot card, which means you told them goodbye. No, no more. You got too many issues. Too many issues. I can't deal with the issues. I want peace. I want, have, I want to do what I want to do. The Nine of Pentacles is in the middle of your reading. This Nine of Pentacles is right here. Nine of Coins is what it says for this card. But the Nine of Pentacles is all about being free, being single, enjoying life. That's what you want. This person is really messed up, though, because he did. But you, you know, you Aries, when you make a decision, you make a decision, you move forward. You're not, you wasted no time to tell him. But he knew he had issues because here's his ten of wands. It was one thing after another. I don't know if he kept a job. He couldn't keep any money. He, he kept, uh, you kept finding out things he's cheating. I mean, all of that. Maybe you found out he had another baby's mother. I mean, there's a lot of things. He just had too many issues. And you told him, I can't, I really can't. I really can't. I, I can't deal with you anymore. Um, you, Hey, I can do bad by myself. And this reading is all about I can do bad by myself. I don't need you to make it worse. And this person was not making your life any better. He was making it worse. And you said, uh-uh, uh-uh. I got to get out of this. And you got out of it. You wasted no time. You wasted no time. Now, the five of wands is in the end of the reading. He's not, he's trying, you know, there's fights and arguments going on because he feels like, you know, he doesn't want to let go. He, he really doesn't. So he's fighting you on this, but it doesn't matter, Aries, because you made up your mind. You said, hey, look, I can't deal with you. Um, You need to go find someone that can deal with your issues because I'm not the one. And I just really see you saying that. Um, I can do bad by myself. That's what I see you saying. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading. Let's see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know. But you have told someone because you've told them, I can't deal with your issues anymore. I really can't. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, but he doesn't want to leave you. He's fighting you on this, but it really doesn't matter because you've made up your mind. Hey, I can't deal with your issues. So let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the chariot card here? Show me, spirit guides. Chariot card. Show me. Why is the chariot card here? Show me. Sit back, relax. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. Why is the chariot card here for my Aries? Show me, spirit guides. Eight of Pentacles. Too much work. Eight of Pentacles is all about work. Oh, you also could have met this person at work as well. But either way it goes, it's just a lot of work that you... And you put in a lot of work with this relationship. You just didn't, you know, um, you just put in a lot of work. But like I said, you've already said I can do bad by myself. I, I'm done. I'm out. Let's see why the Four of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit guys. Why is the Four of Swords here? Because that Eight of Pentacles lets me know that you've been working on this relationship. Absolutely. You didn't just, you know, you've been working on the relationship or... 
you could have met this person at work as well. But this relationship, I think that this relationship, I just see the spirit guy saying there's been a lot of work. A lot of work. And you've had enough of the work. Because <laughs> the four swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the four swords here for my Aries? Show me. Whoop. There it is. That five of wands is here again. Whenever the spirit guides give you. The same card. Thank you, Spirit Guides. In the reading, Five of Wands is here too. He doesn't want to let go. He keeps fighting you over this. There's been fights too with you and him. Five of Wands is conflict, constant conflict. That's what this is, constant conflict. And you don't want to deal with it anymore. It's been nothing but constant conflict, constant fights, constant conflicts. You know, always something. And you said, I, uh, uh, no more, no more. But that's what this relationship has been about. Nothing but conflicts and fights and uh, disagreements. Ne never fun anymore. It's just, uh, uh, issues. So show me why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for my Aries? Nine of Swords. This has been a never-ending nightmare for you, Aries. A never-ending nightmare, but hey, it's over now. But he has been a never-ending nightmare to you. And you told him, I don't want these issues anymore. That not a source means that all you do, all you, when this relationship, there's never been peace. There's always been something, just a, a bunch of mess all the time. A hot A mess all the time. Nine of Swords means you, you, I mean, you, you've gone through it. You haven't been able to sleep, to eat, to um, everything. It's been a constant nightmare. Constant nightmare. No matter how much work you put into this relationship, no matter what you did, it never, it never got on an even kill. It always was something else. There's always some issues. That Ten of Wands, let me see. Let, let's clarify this Ten of Wands because there's always some issues here. No matter what, there's always some issues when it comes to this idiot. Whoever, I shouldn't say that. But whomever this guy was, there was always some issues no matter how much you tried. No matter what you did. One issue after issue after issue after issue. I can do bad by myself. That's what I see. You said I can do. I'm out. So let's see why the Ten of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Nine of Pentacles again. I told you this is. Thank you, spirit guys. Look what the spirit guys are. They're just reiterating. Here's the, the Eight of Pentacles is here. Nine of, um, of, Nine of Pentacles is here. The Nine of Pentacles is here again. It's in the middle of your reading with this Nine of Coins or Nine of Pentacles. And it's over this Ten of Wands, which is all about issues. Child, always something. Issues. He's got issues. It's always a burden. He's a burden to you. He's a never-ending nightmare that's ended now. A never-ending nightmare that's ended now. Because when you see that Nine of Pentacles, you're talking, I'm, I'm about to be single. You <laughs> He don't want to hear that, but you you letting him t you letting him know I'm about to be single because I don't want you I don't want these issues or you anymore. Thank you, Spirit guys. Thank you. So let's see why the Five of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit guys. Why is the Five of Wands here? Show me why the Five of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit guys. Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Look at that, Aries. You got the energy, you got the money, you got everything, you, you want your respect back in the society. Perhaps you've been taking care of him, I'm going to be very honest, that might have been the biggest issue here. Perhaps you've been taking care of him, giving him, you've got the bag, he doesn't. You know, and it's always something. Yeah, I think you've been taking care of him, but you're not taking care of him anymore. And that's why he's fighting you so much too, because guess what, his bank is gone. His bank is gone, because you're, you're done, I can do bad by myself. No longer. His bank is gone. Let's start at the very beginning. Look at this. A chariot card means moving forward. Moving forward, putting one foot in front of the other, but you're not because it's four swords. Is here. It lets me know you're letting this relationship go. You're leaving him behind. You be you're leaving this man behind. You're letting him go. The Eight of Pentacles is here, and the Eight of Pentacles is all about work. Either you met this man at work, but I think more importantly what this is saying is that you're not moving forward with him because this is a breakup. You're breaking up with him and it's conflict here because it's been nothing but conflict here with this relationship. But that Eight of Pentacles means you put in the work. You've been trying very hard. Very hard. You've been trying. It's always some work. There's no peace. There's no... I think the love is gone. 
I just think the love is gone because, you know, no matter what it was, it was always another challenge. It was another issue time and time again. Here's a nine of pentacles again. Thank you, spirit guys, in the middle of your reading, which means you're about to be single and enjoying your own money. Because pentacles also is about money. And I think that you have been his bank. I'm going to be very honest. This has been a never-ending nightmare for you. With that nine of swords over that um, nine of pentacles, you're ready. You're ready. You want your peace back. You're ready to be happy again because he has taken st stolen your joy. He's, he's had issues after issue. There's been burdens after burdens. Always something. Here's this ten of wands. And when I see the ten of wands here, that's the issues. Issue. Issue. Never peace. Always. The fun is gone. The Nine of Pentacles is here again. Thank you, Spirit, guys, which means the reason why you're going to be free and the reason why you want to be single without him, the reason why you're saying I can do bad by myself is because you know you can, you, you'll be just fine. You're tired of being his bank, and I think you've been his bank because the Queen of Pentacles showed up. Queen of Pentacles has her own money. She's got her own paper. You don't have to worry. Queen of Pentacles, um, she's respected in the community. You have what you, you, have what you need. And it's over the five of wands. And I believe the main reason why he doesn't want to break up is because guess what? The bank is closed. The bank is closed. And you were his bank. Because the five of wands is here. He's fighting you on on, on um this breakup. Mm-mm. You're fight um he's fighting you on this breakup. So let's see. Show me oracles. What do my oracles want to say to you? Show me oracles. What do the oracles want to tell you? Aries. What do my oracles want to tell you? Let's see. What do the oracles want to tell you about this rela relationship? Let's see. Show me. Let's see. And I'm going to pull this card because um, this is something for me that I think. I, I love this card. It's one of my favorite cards. It says big happy changes. I think when you become single. I think that it's going to be big, happy changes. As a matter of fact, I know it will be. I know it will be. Also, I'm going to pull this card because no need to worry anymore. Because that Nine of Swords is there and it's been nothing but worry. Uh, nightmares and no need to worry. No need to worry. I, uh, my cards are coming out that I really like. Meditation brings answers, which means that prayer works. Prayer works. Prayer works and let go. You letting him go. Absolutely, you're letting him go. Because he's not, mm -mm, no, you're no longer going to be the bank. And it says, no, you're no longer going to be his bank. You're no longer going to be his bank. And you know, and I think that's really good because I think you've been enabling him. He's got to figure it out. You know, he's got to figure it out. I'm going to pull this again. It says, no, he's got to figure it out. And the last card that I'm going to pull, which I think is a very positive card, there's something better. And that's what I have for you, Aries, for your love prediction reading. 